1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. I want to say salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, prophesizing and teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Once again, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp and um, in hopes to edify those of the elect. Now, this is a famous, you know, book, famous chapter in which brothers go into from time after time. And I want to read a few verses here in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. All right, what Apostle Paul is basically warning us and writing us to, uh, you know, to be ready for the day of the battle. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, our Savior, have truly warned us. He sent prophets day and night, okay? He sent his word in the earth for the elect to hear and to be uh, sealed and to be ready for the day of the battle. The day of the battle is the temptation, all right? In uh, Revelations 3 and 10, the Lord said he would, matter of fact, let me, let me get it real quick because I think I'm going to mess up on it. This is Revelations 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Behold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay, that no man take our salvation. What are we holding fast to is the gospel in which we was taught. All right, you got different other Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite camps with a certain doctrine that they were taught. And you got the true men of the Lord with a doctrine that they were taught. So we're going to come to a point where the Lord is going to show you who he have been dealing with for this long time. Well, let's say this short time, okay, that he has given us back his word in the earth to worship and praise his holy name. All right. So, let me get back to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. Now it says, But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So we know perfectly on how this movie is going to play out. Now, do we know every detail, every time, second? No. All right? But we do know what the Lord foretold us for the things to come and being that you can see that this world and Esau is ready to you know pull the plug on this society and transfer his uh his new world into our bodies which is technology dealing with the mark of the beast okay which is the RFID microchip and also the vaccines you know it's his way of uh, taking his birthright back from Jacob. All right. And if you got guys out here who claim to be prophets and not prophesizing that, you're going to be found out that the Lord was never dealing with you. So, and you can see it. The Lord is making sure that there's no doubt because he's rolling it out. He's rolling it out before your eyes, unfolding the, the present. And you can clearly see what it is. All right. So for when they shall say peace and safety, my matter of fact, it says for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And that means that the Lord is going to come where they least expect, you know, and, and that's that's for uh, two thirds of our people who he's going to judge first. All right. Through these Jacob's trouble, hours of temptation. OK. Um, concentration camps and famines, pestilences, true pestilences, all right, diseases, where there's no healing from. And he's going to also come quickly upon these Edomites, starting with these Rothschilds, these international bankers who rule the world. So, verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, 
and they shall not escape. So we know there is no escaping the judgment of the Lord. And they shall say peace and safety. Why they say peace and safety? You know, as you know, as the Lord reveal, these elites keep in that direction. You know, they're rolling out this microchip to be a hero, to be the savior, to stop all this COVID-19 scare. You know, once you get vaccinated and chipped, you won't have to wear masks. And that will be your new way of buying and selling, you know, going into the markets and places of business. So this is true auto apkeo, problem, reaction, solution right before your eyes. But the but the beautiful thing. All right. Out of this out of this hell that's coming is that the light is coming. And that's Yahweh Shai. All right. He told us this trouble will come upon Jacob. But he said he will save them out of it, which is the elect. So for when they shall say peace and safety, it says, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them as travail upon woman with child and they shall not escape. And why is it compared to a woman with child? Because when you know the fashion of a woman, when it's time to give birth, she doesn't know. Her water breaks. She's rushed to the hospital and then she got to go through it. You know, there's no holding it off saying, wait, give me some time. You know, it's all according to your how I was shy. That baby is coming within those hours. All right. So that's how this destruction is coming. Once it come, it's coming. And there's no stopping it. So in our job, you know, right now is to be praying for mercy toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And, uh, you know, repenting. You know, staying under the shadows of the Almighty. You know, getting things right. Making things right. You know, being as perfect as you can be. Scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. When you go into the word diligence, it takes you to another word, which is persistent, which means continue to exist. So us of the hopeful elect, we want to continue to exist. We want to be of the first resurrection. All right. Raised up with Yahweh Shai in those chariots, you know, to live with Yahweh Shai forever. You know, that's the race. So. It says, uh, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. So we know, we know. All right. And all of you guys who shuffling and jobbing, you better get on your, on your job. All right. You few women that's out there shuffling and jobbing, taking your time. Uh, what's the scripture say? Tarrying to come to the Lord to repent. You better get on a job. All right. So. But ye brethren are not in darkness. We're not in the dark. We're not sleep as others. We're not out here building upon a society that's fallen. We're not out here to get all the money in the world and to be a rich man. We're not out here trying to further our career and a life that's, that's about to not exist. All right. We're further not career in the word of the Lord. It says um, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. So our houses won't be broken up. You know, going into that parable that Yahweh Shah spoke, we built our house upon a rock, not sand. And it's a lot of Israelite groups who built their, or well, let's say their house upon sand. And when the winds blow, it's going to blow it down. Because why? They wasn't building you up for the day of the battle. They wasn't teaching the name of the Lord. They was taken away from the Lord. All right. They wasn't uh, te uh, prophesizing and warning you. They were merry, you know. Given into marriage. You see, it's a big difference, man. All right. Um, verse five, ye all ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So we're not of the dark, we're of the light, man. And wherever brothers go, you know, we make that place to shine through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the elect does. Wherever they go, they light that place up. All right, because why of the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding, you see, and this is why sometimes, you know, when you out other people, you don't know, say something about you saying, bro, it's something about you, you know, you know, bro, you know, you got a spiritual look, man, you know, it's something about you, you look knowledgeable, you know, I like that brother, you know, because of your mannerism, because why, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shines through his elect, so let's go. It says, verse 6, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let me read that again. Therefore, let us not sleep as 
Let us not sleep as do others. Who are the others? The Israelites. Okay, two-thirds. And also those also of the circumcision. That's called but not chosen. So, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. Be vigilant. Be circumspect. You know, keep a sober mind. You know, watching, seeing what's going on. You know, giving... Um, Bread for brothers to eat, you know, which is like a metaphor to doing the works so brothers can get the get the insight, you know, so that they can uh, push out the word as well. Because we all gel off one another, you know, we all send our epistles through this Internet and brothers learn and brothers grow. Brothers get the insight. We get the word. We get the message. Right. So it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. So we're putting on the hope of salvation. We're putting on faith, the, the breastplate of faith and love, because it's going to take faith in order for you to get through these things. All right. And if you don't got faith, then guess what? That's sin. You know, Paul said, um, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. You know, there's a lot. Of, I'm, I guess the spirit got me speaking on these different camps, man. You know, they're still in their folly at a moment like this. It's amazing, you know, to how to, you can see the power and the works of the Lord blinding others, man. You know, lest they repent. You know, who am I? But as this moment, you know, guys are are really not taking heed to these times, especially those who do not who do not teach and push the mark of the beast. You know, they teaching it that is an embargo and Christianity or God knows what. All right. It's like they're not tuned in to seeing what Esau has cooking. OK. Thinking of the rock. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? You know, they don't. It's like they're not acknowledging that. You're not acknowledging it in their shows and lessons. It's more so merry, giving into marriage, fun, party days, eating, drinking, dancing. You know, you guys are crazy. Anyway, um, it says uh, verse, what was I at? Uh, verse 9. For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So it ain't for us to get up guns and try to hold down a fort to protect our families, build a community on a carnal tip. We building our families through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, through his protection, you know, by his word, by by turning, you know, the uh, non-believing Israelites to believers, because that's what he's doing. He's waking up his elect. The ones that believe is the ones that's going to be delivered, you know, not the ones that's going through the motions or playing a game on the outside appearance. Making it seem as though. So anyway, for Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. So whether we die in his flesh and we have to give our bodies as a living sacrifice on that level, okay, on that point, that, that particular point, to have to give your life. Whether we, we, we wake, well, excuse me, yeah, we woke, you know, say we, we, we still remain in the flesh, in the sinful flesh, waiting upon the chariot to pick you up. It says we shall live together with him. So no one is losing out who have faith in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, even if death takes the flesh. So wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as you do. And our elders apostles here at Great Millstone teaches that to edify, man. You know, edify one another. We learn, we grow, you know, to be built up for that day, even as also you do. So, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Okay? To know them which labor among you and are over you. So saying that you're going to have men over you. So you can't climb up some other way, all right? You got to go through the straight gate. You got to go through the route. You got to go through it, man, all right? At least let your teachings and doctrines be of that truth, 
you know, and not climbing up some other way. Because the Lord said, he that, he that doesn't gathereth, scattereth. All right. It says, and to esteem them very highly in love for the work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. So we esteem our apostles very highly. All right. Being historians, being scholars, okay, being the prophets that the Lord have sent to teach us young brothers this word, you know, and their work speaks for itself. So it says, and be at peace among yourselves. So be at peace. You know, if you have a demon on you, you want to rebuke it. You're supposed to be at peace with yourself. It says, now we extol you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. So here it is. Paul is saying to that now we extol you, exhort you, brethren, okay, warn them that are unruly. So we're warning, you know, the guys that are unruly. That's changing the doctrine, perverting the gospel, you know, taking away of Yahweh Shai. We're warning you. It says, comfort the feeble-minded. You know, scriptures say, uh, he that is in trouble, come rest with us. You know, it says, support the weak, be patient toward all men. And that's what a lot of folks right now waking up, two-thirds, you know, they're seeing organized, you know, camps backed by the state with uh, 501c3 charters. They're seeing their billboards, they're... They're seeing their apps, you know, they're publishing themselves as if they're making a whole ton of money. And they are. You know, we promote this word in a certain fashion. When we go out and teach and you see the prophets and you get the word not to make merchant of the Lord, you know, not to make a house of thieves, but a house of the elect. You know, we're building through Yahweh Shem Shah, he's building, okay, the third temple through his elect. All right. So it says, see that none render evil for evil uh, any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. So what is good is that you've been born and that you get this truth while you can. All right. Believe in the Lord. Pray. Seek the Lord's face. Repent. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. He said, if my people. Uh, ah, I got to go to it real quick. Um. Second Chronicles 7 and 14, he says, uh, if my people, which are called by my name, which are the Israelites, uh, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn from your wicked ways. You can't be the same nigga claiming to be an Israelite. It says, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And ultimately, our land is going to be healed by the way of destruction because you have to destroy this place first and to refresh the new. When he come with healing in his wings. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to read one more verse and I'm going to call it a rap. Uh, uh, verse, verse, verse 16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. You know, you should be praying more than ever now. You know, Paul said, we know the fear of the Lord, so we persuade men. And that's all it says. You can call it what you want to call it. Fear mongering and, you know, be carnal about things and think in that level. But no, this is what uh, this particular show is for you know to uh you know hopefully brothers be motivated and stay strong in the lord all right because paul said we uh we know the fear of the lord so we persuade men it says uh and everything give thanks for this is the will of yahweh and yahweh shai mashiach concerning you quench not the spirit despise not prophesizing let me read that again despise not prophesizing i'm gonna read it one more time despise not prophesizing Prove all things, hold that, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, Yahweh, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Uh, I finish it off. Uh, faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. Uh, the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, be with you, Tawab. All right, and there it is. So hopefully, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Till next time, Shalom.